My fellow bandaholics rejoice. This one is for you. This is the start to a brand new series I am starting on the channel since so many of you love my band reviews. They're so much fun to make and I love official Apple Watch bands as much as the next guy. It was actually some of you guys that gave me the inspiration to start this series so here you go. What we'll do for this series is compare and contrast the new colors to older previous colors. Now it is hard to memorize over 150 different band names in my collection and I do get lost sometimes on which or which. But for simplicity and so everyone can follow along easier. The new bands will always be to the farthest right and I'll try my best to memorize each band's names. So let's see just how similar or different these bands are to previous seasons. I hope you guys are excited as I am for this brand new series. Episode 1 of Band Lookalikes. Let's run it. Okay, so first off, I think it's pretty obvious, but every single band in this video is an official Apple Watch band. None are third party. If you like one that you see, point it out, drop a comment, and put a timestamp, and I'm sure myself or other bandaholics will come to the rescue with the name and be happy to help and where to buy it if it's available. Older seasons are a bit iffy as these bands are seasonal and in limited quantity. And lastly, before we start, we'll go in chronological order in terms of style as per the Apple website. So first up, we have the sport bands. We'll begin with the band that I know you guys are dying to compare. Up first, we have a fan favorite, Cactus. Again, Cactus is the one at the far right and right next to it is Pine Green. You know, by itself, Cactus does look green, but putting it up against Pine Green, and now it's starting to look more blue, maybe even tealish, or is it just me? It's crazy what putting bands right against each other will do. Then to the left of Pine Green is Barrel, a really bright and energetic color, and all the way at the far left is Khaki. So these are Apple's recent greens, if you will, and I'd say Cactus is truly a unique band. As of the recording of this video, all of these green bands can still be purchased directly from Apple. Up next is Grapefruit, the springiest of all the colors. I, I don't know, was that even a word? I said it in my official Spring 2020 band review. Grapefruit looks just like Pink Sand, only with the vibrancy and saturation turned way up. It has way more character than Pink Sand, and when put up against Pink Sand, it looks like Grapefruit sucked the life out of Pink Sand. I'm sorry for saying Pink Sand so much. And for some reason, I felt Clementine kind of sort of had the same vibe going with Grapefruit. They obviously don't look similar, but I feel Clementine was an honorary mention here. And last of the sport bands, and what I feel is everyone's favorite, Surf Blue. I, I just... I can't say enough good things about this color. Look at all these blues. To the left of Surf Blue is Delft Blue. I'm like 90% sure it is. It's hard to keep track when you have close to 150 bands like I said. But look at it. It's the band that your eyes immediately gravitate to. No questions asked. And if it doesn't, I know you're lying to me. We have some darker, more muted colors like Teal and Midnight Blue. But none compare to the almighty Surf Blue. My recommendation? Look, step by step, here we go. Open a new window, type apple.com, hit enter, click watch, then bands, find Surf Blue, and just buy it. And no, this is not a sponsored video at all. Does it look like Apple would ever sponsor me? Surf Blue is just that great. You'll just have to take my word for it. Or if not, just look through the comments and you'll see. Up next, we have the sport loops, and to be quite honest, most of the sport loops in recent memory are all pretty unique. Most are this tri-color style, sometimes quad-color style, that is just hard to find any similarities to, especially with fan favorites like Vitamin C and Sunshine, which I categorize as being too unique to compare to other bands. For that reason, I only found two sport loops for Spring 2020 that barely resemble others. One is neon pink, and it's not necessarily that these are similar. Trust me, I'm not blind. I just feel like these three here all share that springy kind of bright vibe. In the middle is pomegranate and is the one that probably shares the most similarities with it, but just barely. And then next, we have surf blue, which is the more neutral color of all the new sport loops. It's your classic blue sport loop mixed in with just enough pizzazz to make it unique, yet not flashy at all. Apple has released several blue bands before, like Cornflower and Cape Cod Blue, but I feel that this Surf Blue Sport Loop is unique enough to set it apart from the rest. We move on to the Nike Sport Bands, which are some of my favorites, and a band you can really tailor to your own style. There are some pretty unique colors within this line, and for the most part, are comprised of two colors that either complement each other or are the total opposite and contrast against each other. An example of that is Black and Lime Blast, 
but unfortunately, in my humble opinion, is way too similar to Black and Volt, which was a staple on Apple's website for a very long time. Some might disagree, but I like my bands to be able to be distinguished from afar. Where either of these bands, and to most people who have no idea about Apple Watch sport bands, would swear you keep wearing the same grimy and sweaty band. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and you might find enough differences to justify them. The other Nike sport band this season is Midnight Turquoise and Aurora Green. This band here has lately become one of my favorites because it's so distinct from most other Nike sport bands that it was really hard to even choose one to compare it with. The band to the left of the new one is Celestial Teal and the one farthest left is Spearmint and is a really rare band to find by the way. The Midnight Turquoise perforations are somewhat like Spearmint and the actual band color to me looks slightly like Celestial Teal but barely. A truly unique band and one I've been wearing quite often. We're nearing the end as we approach the Nike Sport Loops, which, uh, I don't know, are slowly becoming my least favorite style. I voiced my concern in my band review for Spring 2020, and that is because to me at least, these bands are starting to look way too similar. I mean, I even had a tough time putting these together for this review, as I was getting lost in the sauce as to which was which. They're not distinct enough for me. The weaving is always different inside, sure, but for the most part, you'll find a collection of black bands with different colored specks in the middle. Don't get me wrong, the reflective weaving is an amazing touch and can save lives, potentially, for runners or bicyclists at night, but I need Apple to throw some exotic colors here. Some yellows, bright greens, maybe even a bright red with the reflective weaving. If any executive at Apple ever stumbles across this video, please make it happen. And last, for the leather bands, we first have Raspberry. Raspberry is quite deceiving on the website. Just so you guys have a good idea, I compared it to my product red leather case. As you can see, the website has Raspberry looking way more red than it actually is. But when you put them side by side to the product red leather, you can see it is way more pink in person. It's not a bad thing, it's more red than pink and makes for a very fascinating color. Sometimes I low-key wish the modern buckle was available for the 44mm line, but at least we have our own exclusive being the Leather Loops, which is the next band. This peacock green is magnificent. It's like primarily green for sure, but maybe 5% pine green in there, maybe 10% teal, some 2.5% blues, like it's a crazy unique color and looks even better on leather. The band that looks similar to it is Forest Green. Honestly, when I first saw the website when Peacock was announced, Peacock looked just like Forest Green, I'm not even gonna lie. But when I received it, just know I was thrilled. Peacock is one of my favorite colors Apple has ever released. There you have it guys, I'm sorry I couldn't compare the deep sea blue modern buckle, it's your standard blue though, nothing too flashy, just your standard navy with slight ultraviolet in there, but I truly hope you guys found this video useful. It took me a lot of time to put together. Researching the names of some of these prior bands was very time consuming as well. Like you know how hard it was to search some of these bands, like okay, head to google, uh, really bright blue, almost green, kinda whitish Nike sport band. Like, that was me, for real. But what took the longest was finding some of these bands in my house. I have them laying around everywhere and couldn't find all of them. Do I have an Apple Watch band problem? <sighs> Probably. But please give this video a thumbs up as it helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below if you want to see the series revived for the summer releases and make sure to head to my official spring review videos with cards at the top right and links in the description to see how you can win a brand new official band for yourself. That's been it for me guys. I have a banger video coming up real soon in the next couple of days. So it might seem like I'm MIA, but I'm working real hard for you guys. Alright everyone, be safe and I'll see you on the next one.